Like son, like father. First, it was Donald Trump Jr. crassly criticizing London's mayor and twisting the facts after a terror attack there in late March left three dead and more than 40 wounded. You have to be kidding me, Trump Jr. tweeted in response to London's mayor, Sadiq Khan's supposed assertion that terror attacks are part and parcel of living in a major city. But Khan didn't say what Trump the younger said he did. Khan had a crucial noun in there saying that the threat of terror is part and parcel of living in a big city. And sadly, I think we can all agree. And yesterday, Donald Trump, the elder, demonstrated a similar lack of class, crassly criticizing the mayor again and twisting the facts again, just hours after another terror attack, tweeting at least seven dead and 48 wounded in terror attack. And mayor of London says there is no reason to be alarmed. But again, that is not what Mayor Khan said. This is. Londoners will see an increased police presence today and over the course of the next uh, few days. No reason to be alarmed. Quite a bit different, isn't it? Trump, however, wasn't letting this go. Pathetic excuse by London mayor, who had to think fast on his no reason to be alarmed statement. Father Trump and Junior Trump either intentionally goofed or really didn't care what Khan actually said. Just another opportunity to pick fights with the good guys, as the president did last week with our strongest European allies and go after the first ever Muslim mayor of London. Now, I'm not one who wants the president to stop tweeting. I'd like to know what he's thinking, even if I don't like what he's thinking. But how about a tweet of support to Mayor Khan, of sympathy, as the president apparently did in a phone call to the British Prime Minister, Theresa May? Well, May didn't publicly criticize Trump when he falsely claimed British intelligence helped former President Obama spy on Trump, which never happened either. She didn't criticize him for U.S. intelligence leaks about the Ariana Grande attacks either. But Khan has criticized him plenty, beginning when candidate Trump said he'd temporarily ban all Muslims. And then Khan endorsed Hillary. The Trumps, we already knew, often live in a make-up-your-own-facts world. Now we're reminded that the world is also about revenge as well, getting even no matter the cost, including to the United States of America.